Okay, this game is gonna be so weird. Yes, bird. We're playing a KFC dating sim. <laughs> oh, this is so stupid. You see, slowly as the morning sun casts a warm glow through the window of your modest student apartment. Oh boy. It was peaceful and serene. You could stay in this moment forever. Or you could wake up now, now, now. Your first day of culinary school is no time to sleep in culinary school. Go clock out the window and stay in bed forever. Heck it. You slept through the school year and gave up on the once in a lifetime opportunity to meet Colonel Sanders. Game over already. I did it. I beat it. Speed run. Speed run world record, we got it completed, we're the best. <laughs> world record, I already got it, get on my level everyone, just started the game and already getting world records. Uh-oh. Other custom. What's the button? Alright, that's just that, and I'm assuming that's to fast forward. Smack that clock! Lying in bed, you stare at the ceiling, thinking about everything that awaits you at the prestigious University of Cooking School Academy for Learning. Oh. Your mind begins to wander. Who will be there? What will you cook? What should you wear? Time begins to fly by and you find your imagination getting away from you. You need to take time to eat the cereal. Stay here a bit thinking about the future. Let's take this seriously in the beginning. A big shimmer. Prepare for the first day. Wait, wait, what's with the heart? Okay, I'm assuming those aren't hearts coming from something's peeping in my window. Hair combed, pits deodorized, nothing can stop you now. Take on that culinary school. Let's marry Colonel Sanders. Yes, look at the biscuit! Here comes your lifelong best friend. Oh, it's Miriam! That is an adorable outfit, and she's an adorable looking character, I approve. Why is my entire name Caps? Oh, I guess everyone's names are probably Caps. <gasps> no love in the food! Whatever will we do? And Master Chef parents? Oh man. I have a lot to live up for. Or live up to, not for. You must get from that quicksand. The quicksand box! Who just has a quicksand box? I didn't have a childhood, I guess. I need a quicksand box. I'm gonna go order one right now. Three day only semesters? Wait! Wait, wait! An entire semester in three days? That's a lot. Wow. That's, Im that's, that's impressive. Should you pep talk her or change the subject? Hmm. Do I want to give her a pep talk or change the subject? Let's change the subject. Let's go some school gossip. Yeah, let's change the subject. Mystery student. Oh boy. 
gets a little worse in, but you'll be fine now that... Now, what about this mystery student we read about in the school message board? Any new deets? Aw, oh, give me them deets. His name is Harland. Oh. Powers. Oh, so is he a magical girl? He's born from an egg! Is he a chicken? Please tell me I can date a chicken. I'm so dating a chicken. He fought a bear with a smile. Aw, heck. He is true waifu, husbando, waifu, chicken-o material. Chicken-o? So handsome that the laws of physics don't dare apply to him. Aw, oh, heck, we got ourselves a bully. Is that a school-appropriate outfit? I don't think that's proper chef attire. And I hate the way her name is spelled. <laughs> Chicken shins? Oh man, what rude. They are perfectly normal shins. Thank you. Thank you, Miriam. They're perfectly normal shins. Even Yes, her name is annoying! <laughs> I completely agree. We're going to have nothing to do with her. Yeah, you're really. Yeah, you tell her. Van Van the Man. <laughs> what is this game? Van Van the Man Man. Are they rocking glutes, though? Oh, snap! I don't know, that might- Oh, that might be the new- Is that- Is his hair a star haircut? That might be the husbando of the series. Forget everyone else. Forget the chicken. Look at that man. Hire says professors, you amateur to learn a lot from us. Aw, oh, don't in come on, don't insult me, Van Van. You hurt you your attacks are personal. It really feels I feel like we could connect. With the first day of school about to start, there's just no time to properly tell these two off, so you resist the urge. Let's go, Marion. See you late Yep, see you later, losers. Okay, who's the kid? <laughs> What are those sound effects? And why is your name Pop? Um... Nope! You are... No, you stop confessing to me right now. After my Pop Pop, he's old? His... <laughs> oh no! He... Okay, his name is Bob, I got it. Aww. He, you know what, man, you know what you can have whoever you feel like you want to go for. You do it. You be you. I'm going for the chicken. I since wandering keeps themselves busy chit chatting. Is our professor a cooking doggo? He speaks and his name is Sprinkles and he's on a podium with a chicken on it. Oh, he's the great- wait a second. Is that the CEO of KFC? <laughs> Hold 
Hold up. I need to look this up. KFC CEO. Okay, that's not the CEO of KFC. And why? Why does Miriam keep doing that thing from Kill a Kill? Who's this unreasonably cute pup and why is he in our culinary class? He is the professor. You will call him Mr. Sprinkles. Head instructor and CEO. He isn't just an instructor. He's a CEO. This dog can do it all. Professor Dog. I'm so sorry for calling you Sprinkles, Professor Dog. I may be cute and little I may be cute and little and fluffy, but I still demand respect. Woof. He's got cute little towels though. <laughs> A cute dog is our professor? This is the best school ever. Agreed, this is the best school ever. I guess only a dog's nose is capable of picking up all the nuances of fine dining. Out of nowhere, wind begins to rush around and throw cherry blossom petals through the air inside the classroom. Oh, are we getting the main romantic interest? Don't close the window, we have a romantic interest coming in. Boom! Mmm! 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 Colonel Sanders! You said he was a chicken! That's not a chicken! Sorry, Professor Dog, before he can finish his set. Please call me Colonel. I will. Ye I'm. Yep. Colonel Sanders. Oh, snap. I was expecting a chicken, but instead we get the Colonel himself. A hush murmur rolls through the classroom as Colonel Sanders walks down the aisle of the desk. Suddenly the room is sweltering. Sweat begins to beat across your brow. You feel like everyone is looking at you and you're not entirely wrong. <sighs> this over here must be sweaty. Sweats a lot. Get out of here, you and your stupid spelled name. <laughs> Maybe we should open that window back up before faucet pits melts into a puddle and evaporates entirely. You know what? I'm not into you anymore. Here's Star Guy. Colonel Sanders is better. <laughs> Same kindergarten class and what is really weird insults. Agreed. It's a good thing you didn't forget about that deodorant this morning. This classroom is hot, hot, hot. I think that might just be Colonel Sanders. Alright, Academy for Learning, the greatest culinary academy in the world. Birthplace of culinary legends, past, present, and future. Many challenges await you. There will be tears, there will be blood. There might even be really adorable tiny food. I hope there's really adorable tiny food. And when all is said and done, there will be a battle. Yes! You'll lift your sporks and complete- wait, sporks? And another student? Oh, snap- oh. Late to class is bad enough in Earth in my monologue. You're on the fast track out of here, young man. Are you sure you're even in the right place? Didn't recognize me. This is my third year in the school with you as my teacher. Oh, is he like the dropout kid that no one really likes? Does no one remember me? I'm Eric Spell, if you utter one more word before I finish. That is an angry doggo. Tardiness is unacceptable. Wait, Clank? Who's Clank? Is that a... Is that a KFC fryer? Because if so, I think I'm in love. Class bursts into laughter. Don't burst into laughter. He st he's doing his best. He's like a pressure fryer. He's crazy. Yeah, Clank's a rascal. They always are. I guess he lifts his nose in the air and takes a deep sniff. Oh, don't sniff me. My diet is lacking. A multivitamin. Oh, no, don't tell me to take better care of myself. I eat a daily dose of biscuits and fried chicken every single day. Decided to try and butter him up by giving him a treat from your pocket, but what kind? Oh, snap! Should I straight up insult? Oh, would it be insulting to give him a beef treat or a rubber ball? I think I should give him a chicken snack. 
I think all of these would be insulting if you're doing it to teacher. Who's a good teacher? Good teacher. Chicken snack. Oh, does he like chicken? He loves chicken. Of course he loves chicken. And he's a drool. He drools. Is that proper teacher etiquette? This is a weird teacher relationship, teacher student relationship we have going on here, giving you treats. Exactly, you always care. This is advice you should always take throughout your life. Always, always carry a wide range of dog treat flavors on you at all times. All times of the day. You never know when you could need them. So down, young chefs, take your seats and prepare to have your minds open to the amazing possibilities of culinary creation. Everyone rushes to claim their favorite seats. You're left standing in front of the room. Only two options remain. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, best friend, but I'm going with Colonel Sanders. Here's you. He, oh, he brought no books, pens, or pencils. Wait, a, Colonel, you can't come to school unprepared. That's you, this is a three-day semester course, and you are not ready for this. I've only had ever had two rules: do all you can do to uh, yeah, do all you can, and do it to the best you can. It's the only way you ever get a feeling of accomplishing something. It's so inspiring. Oh. As soon as you settle into your seat, the professor makes an announcement. Announcement? A pop quiz! No, we just started. G go away. No. I will tell you if you're ready for life in culinary school. Oh, keep your knife sharp and your focus sharp. Here comes question number one. Bam! If train A is traveling to point B and train B is traveling to point A, how important is it to wash your hands before cooking? Extremely, and I'm looking at you, Pop. That's right. Forest is to tree as chicken is to feather. What is the most efficient eating utensil ever created? A comically, I really want to say a comically oversized fork, but how much, considering how much they've talked about sporks, I think they want me to say spork. What food is best for a broken heart? Anything as long as it's prepared with love and not too much salt. Pancake that looks like it's my... A easy pop quiz. Is Sprinkles a good boy? He's a talking dog that teaches at culinary school. He's the best boy. He is the best boy. My total score is 5 out of 5. Aced it. Perfect score. It just passed me already. Be honest, did you cheat? Yes. I know we just met, but I have to confess. Oh, ah, oh, yes, I'm getting Colonel Sanders. Hot diggity. Robin, you just scored some major Colonel Sanders points with that performance. May I have your attention, students? I have an important announcement to make. Time for lunch. That was quick. Cafeteria is nice in a restaurant you've eaten at. It makes sense that a school dedicated to cooking would be so serious about eating. A delicious fragrance wafts through the room and tickles the end of your nose and mouth waters. Is it fried chicken? It's your lunch. It smells crazy. It's fried chicken. Is it about lunch? No, I just wanted to apologize for my tardiness. You see, I was... Get out of here. Howdy, folks. I'd like to make an announcement. Ah, oh, heck. The true husbando. It's about lunch. Come on, lunch. In honor of the new semester, I've prepared something special to share with everyone for lunch. You prepared it. Is it fried chicken? Uh -huh. Do you smell? Hold your breath waiting to see what food the mysterious student has created. You heard that he's very talented, but were the rumors true? Is this a large bucket of fried chicken? Probably a huge piece of chicken breaded and fried, crispy golden finish. The aroma envelops you and begin to feel warm and safe. Colonel Sanders has filled a bucket with chicken. What a novel concept. Never heard of it before. A bucket and chicken? No one's ever done it before. First, 
This is a true story. This is the true story of the origin of the Kentucky Fried Chicken restaurant chain. Because I've been developing a secret recipe for the perfect fried chicken. Okay, so nothing less than 11 herbs and spices are required to achieve the perfect balance of flavors. The grand notice that every other student a pen and paper and scribbling notes as fast as they can. But that's all I'll say about it. Ah! Oh, think we want your stupid secret recipe, dude? Psh, whack! Nah, my dude, nah. I'm just uh, drafting a last will and testament in case uh, one of those greens is a poison. I poisoned it. Let's see. I actually put a flop, but she said to a different number. Writing in your diary. Today I smelled something beautiful. You knew at that moment that only the hands of a true gentleman could fry chicken so tender. You haven't even tried the chicken yet. No, no, no. No, get away. Get away from him, he's mine. Van Van the Man Man, if you don't want any, I'll take his. Well, hold on, I'm gonna guess it's right. Takes one bite and his eyes grow wide and he starts contor contorting his face as he tries to hold his pure exhilaration and act unimpressed. Easy now, there is enough for everyone, please, my fellow classmates, dig in! Oh, out of this bucket and stick your teeth to it, come on. Oh, snap, multi-dimensional travel through fried chicken. Oh, with your taste buds gripping the drumstick in your handy foot weightlessly. Very much beautiful, pure, heavenly. What a guy. Alone with the flavors, you feel something that can only describe this love for a man. For a flavor, are they the same? After tracing his food, you try to get some one-on-one -on -one time with Colonel Sanders. Yes! Ever so softly as you approach, he stops what he's doing and allows you to break the silence. Yes! I'm gonna get him! <gasps> Whoa! He's got a chicken staff! It's an idea I had for a new combination of flavors that will make me my fortune and establish my legacy for all time as I opened a chain of high the successful fried chicken restaurants. No big deal. So you hear her talking to me. In fact, I've got some of my own that I'd be willing to trade. It's the rush of the semester something has started and we've got two more whole days to get to know each other. Exactly two whole days. Gonna get him. Just one agreeing. I use. Oh, don't no, don't blink. No, don't blink it out. Curse you. Carl Sanders has disappeared. Why everyone else is dying? Hunt him down. Had a first time to figure it now is important to show him personality. Neg him to show neg him to show your own strength. Wow him with a big idea to add an additional green to really spice things up. Be mm, I think he'd prefer be modest but thoughtful. Don't try and touch his recipe. Don't bite you. There we go. See this is how you get him. Salty, savory, and peppery was perfect. Yes! I know we've only met today, but I'm starting to get the same feeling about you. Yes! That is a cooking arena and a half. You're not gonna blow it. You're gonna do great. You're gonna do great. But not as great as Colonel Sanders, because he's the best.
Sorry, I'm going with Colonel Sanders. Oh, I feel so bad now. Sorry, Puppet. I think we're going to party with Clint today. See, he. I didn't. I don't need Miriam failing this. You need a pressure fryer for this contest. A sentient pressure fryer. Oh, you clank. Perfectly fine. I'm going to pick a basic dish and divide up the steps. No chef is an island. It takes two flints to make a fire. You get the idea. It doesn't make two flints. It takes a flint and a steel to make a fire. I guess you could use two flints. I don't know. Maybe? I've never made fire like that. I just use a lighter. It's fancy, and you don't even need to cook it. It's true, steak tartare is fancy, and you don't even need to cook it. Uh, your grandmother's mashed potatoes and gravy. He's a good old American boy. He'll love some mashed potatoes and gravy. <gasps> and gravy! Yes! I know exactly how to get to his heart. Get out of here, Ashley. No one likes you. Your man, you and your boob dress, er. Ooh. He has his own theme. There's supposed to be some hair for a classic guy. Do you remember? Oh. Oh. You're struggling, so you're off to get, give them a hand, you know how it is. These young amateur chefs need a lot of mentoring. I was going to say, Colonel Sanders, maybe you could also teach you a thing or two about fancy food. Maybe one day you might be able to get up to my level. Doubt it. <gasps> don't be rude, Van Van. Yeah, don't be rude. I don't care about Colonel Sanders, but you're going to come concentrations for the evaporation. After all, your fight chicken is quite spectacular. I might make a better part of using this. Thing. Oh, ouch! Stop me, okay? Put her like a fine jumps. It just makes sense. Okay, she's coming for Colonel and you don't like her. I gotta destroy her. End her existence. Obliterate her. All of it. Get her out of here. I'm going to express myself to you not picture with the Queen Madonna exactly. My family can't be just be right. Some respects all fair agreements from contracts to handshakes. I took on Robin as my partner for this activity and I stand by darn tootin' he does. Look for each other. Look for Robin's natural talent or their loyalty. Oof! Short but sturdy stature, agreed. No plenty of butter and cream for flavor, it's just the natural fashion guided you. Oh, perfectly guided.
A beautiful, perfect. Perfection. You reach out and grab hold of it, but he doesn't immediately go to you. Stand holding the same sport for that small moment. All of the madness and pressure in this crazy world stops. True beauty. Your eyes lock the moment as electric time stands still. If you love something, set it free. Together you take the utensil and put the mashed potatoes and lift a heaping spark full up. When you see Ashley with a sinister look, you know she's planning against you to be with Colonel Sanders. And then filled with rage and without thinking, you fling this... No! Don't do it! Don't waste the mashed potatoes on the food fight. Exactly. Get more get defeated by our superior food. Exactly. We do not waste food. Is that an octopus on an axe? Impressive. <gasps> oh, no, he did. about to witness a death? Another death? Oh, he's immune to poison. Ghost of student? Please let me walk in. Thank you. At night, the school building is taken on another vibe entirely. It's dark and more than a little spooky. Is it because there's a ghost walking around now? Postman stands in the quad's neon glow and speaks softly. Smash potatoes you made in class today. Before you go on, I want you to know you're not a great representation of my skills. You didn't realize I was making them. They were amazing. Taste them reminded me of how I became so passionate about food to begin with. Yes! Be the perfect time to tell him you're developing feelings for him, Colonel Sanders, Mr. Robin. So then he tell you, ah, oh. no, you go away. I was about to confess my love to the Colonel. Maybe the greatest chef in the world has ever seen. Every day since then, I've been working toward that dream, day and night, never stopping, never resting. Also, lifting a lot of weights, like so many weights. We fall out of dreams with all our hearts and our souls and grin. Wishes to play down a shooting star. Hey, no, I, you... <laughs> Shut up, I'm saying inspirational stuff. No, you don't get to be the star of the story. You can't prove that? I bet we can. Hmm. The Spork Monster! There's a Spork Monster! I did threaten me just as I was laying down my guard and connecting with another chef on an emotional level. Be afraid, be very afraid of me because I'm a monster. See? Is he rhyming on purpose or is that just a coincidence? But before we discuss the syntax any further, it's a turn based fight sequence! What will you do? <laughs> Attack! Cook with love! Deck really upset Spork Monster. Spork Monster goes on the attack. Spit hot gravy. Defend. <laughs> Trepidation. 
whoever comes your way seems like a pretty weird strategy, but okay, sure, you do you. Oh, we gotta defend. You draw energy into your arms, taking back all the strength you did in the kitchen as a child. Your muscles grow super small and you're ready to take on anything. Chow down. Really vulnerable. Spark monster prepares for its ultimate have a rounded edge. Now, well, when your reign of terror stops here, summons the energy of 1,000 chickens. Pot. <laughs> Pot pie power pinch. 10 whole damage. Oh, you saved me, my hero. Spare him. Something will be back, like you said. Throw the monster scuttles off into the night. Ah, oh, appears to be a cookbook, but upon closer inspection, it's so much more. It's a book of magic spells with a golden chicken on the cover. Oh, heck. Last name to have signed it is Borko. But that name sounds strangely familiar. The book is pumping as you stand in the quiet of night, holding the mysterious book in your hands. As you come down from your battle buzz, you realize that your final attack has left you completely depleted. The world around you begins to fade away. Without energy to keep your eyes open, darkness overtakes you. The image frays you fall asleep. He must have helped you get home. In your tired state, you don't know if you could have made it without him. What a guy. You don't have the strength. I don't have a single word. You're feeling he covers me. Pulled over you. Oh, he's putting me to bed. Spring of sauce there. It's true. Dreams, dreams are weird. Okay, dreams are really weird. These are premonitions. Oh, they were totally premonitions. Probably just because he already trusts you so much. He does! This is gonna be the best! I'm gonna get with the Colonel. She has a story! <gasps> you like Clank! Oh! Oh, that's adorable. Oh, I see. Oh! I can see why he'd be the most popular kid in this high school. He was voted prom king at a school he didn't even go to, and was also the, also the convertible that he himself rode in. Wait. Wait. <laughs> Your best if you took it slow with this new boy like guy in, Colonel Sanders. This guy's the most famous student ever. No, you are a thing. Don't you- don't let anyone- anyone stop you. Rare dried flower petals. I did him a big favor I could pass on. Is it saffron?
I can't. No. I'll make up a fake ingredient. I can't give her the real. I can't. I can't tell her the truth. That would break Colonel Sanders' heart. Oh, here he is he on a horse? <gasps> no! Oh, snap! Okay, exactly. Say so if you forget, the world could end. So you know it sees. All you can save me, all you can do is repeat my name three times. I don't know your name, ghost students, and the name is... Oh, I'll get hecked. Naturally, natural seasoned musk. <laughs> oh, I'm so glad I didn't go for the kiss. That would have could have been bad. Oh no! What are they doing? Summoning a demon. Don't summon a demon. Exactly. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Don't use evil. That book spooks. Hey, it's Clank. Yeah, you do it. You shock van. <sighs> Sprinkles, bring some sanity to this class. His tiny legs are tired, poor puppy. <laughs> Off the hopping. Oh, 
you the global history of my favorite fountain, the chicken! It was a chicken who first signed the name. What? This is totally factual. Come to Sparkle's Funny Tray Food for Funny Tray Food. Which item do you want to sample? Oh no! Um. My friend, ooh, I'm not your friend. Avenge your death and fulfill your destiny. All you must do is. The prophecy must. Oh no, I'm a terrible. I have officially ruined Christmas. Let me guess, they're gonna prepare lunch. A world. Bring it. Yeah, he likes my gumption. The timer! Yes! To war! Is that a- is that like a chain heart? You have a terrifying hatchet. Keep that away from me. Always boils. Ah! Winner gets to rub my furry belly. Okay. We're going to need the season the chicken where we cook it. You don't know Colonel Sanders' recipe exactly, but you have an idea. Eleven herbs and spices, that's right. Now you've got some basic steps, it's time to elevate your craft. Uh, what state of mind offers... Trust. That's wrong! Ah, oh, heck. Your classmates are rooting for you, but Ashley's simply stronger and faster than you. You better pick up the pace if you want to survive. When you were a child, your father told you never forget where you came from every day. You have to tell him his advice and draw energy from that place. Now would be a great time to harness energy, so where does it come from? That's right! Oh, yes! Bingo! Try to shut the noise when you're going to focus on your cooking. What is the science? Ah, the Yes, cheer me on. How many spoonfuls of gravy would it take to filter a No, I wasn't paying attention.
Exactly. Oh no. Is that on a thing of glass or ice? Oh, she's even got honeycomb. Try again. <laughs> Wait, does that make me start all the way back at the beginning of the game? Oh, it makes me start... Oh? Alright, let's do this. Alright, let's get back to the contest. Let's get this right. Hundred degrees Celsius. Eleven herbs and spices. That's oh. That's right, Wendy. Alright, let's see if I can get some of these without the timer going too fast. It's colorful and complex. Oh, there goes your hand. Oh, you can hold it down. I know you're hurting right now. Not just investing in loss, but not running with the mixer and that small <laughs> that small fire. You should get that checked out. Fit to fill your fire and never be a master chef. 
Lily is part of life, not just for you, but for all of us. Do you think I... I've never felt anything before? That's exactly what I think. Well, then think again. I wasn't always the man you see before you. Enrolled in culinary school, incredible, handsome, successful, motivated. Handsome, he was born. Of course, he was born that way. I'm passionate about life, but I failed. Oh. Oh, you failed as a lawyer. Oh. Oh, you failed as a mule hand, but. Mules, mules can be cruel. <laughs> to a gunfight! You, wait, are you the one who killed him? Wait, you killed your right. You shot your rifle. Ah. Oh. Oh. It has to remember that every failure can be a stepping stone to something better. My new dream is pure, it's honest, it's something that's humble. How a man in a crisp white suit can fret. Oh. Oh, are you not here to fight? Pierce of the dark that can really rile. It can definitely rile a person up. I used to go to the school. It wasn't there was a sport monster. You see, wait a second. Are you the kid who died? Oh, he was a golden retriever. So many kids with a magic spell would cast a dark enchantment on me and I was forever transformed. Oh no! I agree. I, sh I should give him the book. Personal hideaway. Isn't that one of like the most expensive fireplaces you can have installed? This is a fancy house. Special bond with them. Dick and adventure, if you approach it with the right attitude, agreed. Long ago I made the decision to never stop searching, never stop working, never stop imagining. Been working on any new recipes of your own lately? I'm always excited to talk about food with another ambitious sap. Oh, I gotta think of something simple. Reveal it! Coleslaw. Oh, snap. Yeah, this is the greatest game ever. <gasps> Magnificent, indeed. Hold on to the last bite. I'd like to have it around so that I can admire its taste later and think back on this moment. Oh, you can have it. Don't snoop. Oh, okay, let's, you know, let's... Adorable little baby boy crawls across the floor from goatee and mustache combo sports. You figure that he must be Colonel Sanders, so... That are maybe... It's the drumstick that seems to be in my breath. Who frames a picture of just themselves? Probably the same type of person who would make their own face the logo of the company they founded, am I right? Hey! <laughs> It's a 
if he's not a man visiting the pyramids of Egypt. Maybe this is where he discovered one of his secret herbs and spices. Can chicken be prepared sashimi style? Is the window across the pass like a mountain range beyond? Just then the ghost of the student pops up. Go away! Yeah, be gone! Oh, it's a real chicken! True state of the great, the true state bird of the great state of Kentucky. Let's look at the whiskey. Oh, that's not whiskey. That's a scented candle. Of course it is. Power tool, maybe. Summer of '69. Like the ashes of all my past careers and business values. Jesus. <laughs> the signature white suit's hanging with me. Oh no! Embarrassing. Not that we blame you for trying, but still. Oh, come on. Hey, Spork Monster. Yes, tell him you've got feelings for him. Hmm. We should take things slow. Dream sequence! Chicken! Decision on how to respond to Colonel Sanders. Only time will truly tell. Chance for steel life. Exactly. How will they know? Oh. 
fried chicken and biscuits. Oh. She's there waiting for me. I've totally not been at a guy's house. <laughs> Why would you ask? Oh snap, the saga of Marion. She went on a date. Mm, give me the deets. Right, with the clanky ass we got them. Of course I told him you better to keep your dials turned to polite and respectful. I'm not that kind of girl. It was just interesting spending time with someone on one on. This really took me skydiving, but the spreads but things quickly spiral out of control. Exactly. No, we're not friend. Are we not friends anymore? Oh no. I mean, he is kind of the biggest person in the school. Ooh. No, never give up. How is my hand going to be healed by this afternoon? Don't you dare. Don't do it. Never. No. Oh, 
Oh. No. Destroy Terrans. That is weird. Ah, yikes. Oh, snap. Exactly. Just straight to successity. <laughs> uh, maybe? I'm sure there's a pony out there with your name on it and a ranch big enough for both of us. Let's have a look for someone. Yeah, exactly. Aw, oh, snap. Van Van, the supposed man man. Aw, oh, she's gonna cheat. They're gonna cheat. You gotta be prepared. They're gonna cheat. <laughs> Love how he's followed by rose, pe by rose blossom petals. <laughs> There's still some time before the final exam. yards that's an impressive distance that is also an oddly specific distance tender love and care perfection Oh, 
are no rules. Uh. Heck yeah. <laughs> I love how she's into tiny cooking. Find a way to improve something. Improve. His original recipe fried chicken. As it levitates through the air. Exactly. The singularity as was foretold. Wait, singularity. <gasps> no, no, do it the hard way. Exactly, you don't need magic, your passion of cooking. Yes. Aww. Tiny food, short cook time. Steve the Spork Monster. Crazy kids in the colony skills were impressed. And if I hang out? Back in the old country. Sport pup. I understand it's kind of like the time of Monster Girl that I had fallen asleep during scare taxi class when I woke up. Never mind, I'll tell you later. Thanks. So extra power from deep within yourself, you have this. Oh snap. I just went culinary saying. Yes. You can don't levitate off of the ground. Energy courses through your body. You know that with this power you can do anything except turn back time, which would be super useful because while you are powering up your chicken pot by overcooking the oven, it can't serve. <gasps> I thought he was going to turn back time. <laughs> oh, perfect food union.
Wait, Pop is gone. Oh, they bullied him. not the worst. Oh, I need to know what the worst is now. Maybe the pressure cooker will off too. Wait till your signature worker. I don't want to be here, but there's none. Four remaining students. Yes, we're serving chicken. It's come for me to eat. What is her dish? I want to see it. It's so tiny and adorable. Chef is my father's name. Oh. He has a cute electric toothbrush for dogs that's adorable! Oh, Yay! Be on a battle axe! Be on a battle axe! Winnie over smooth egg. Had to do something with an axe, I knew it. But it seems like Yeah, who would have thunk? A bowl made of needles. Probably not the best serving device. I'm gonna drink my get over it. Sometimes it helps calm my edge tongue. Yeah, that's fair enough. Drink whatever you want to drink. Orange blossom, tertiary cavite, and a light rose water syrup topped with French meringue. <sighs> that is like the most pretentious. Wait. Oh no. College of Eating, School for the Hungry. Wow. Oof. Uh-oh. A bowl of delicious mac and cheese. Bruh! It's a KFC famous bowl.
Exactly, it's perfection. This reality into yes, transcend to another dimensions. I just realized that's a picture of a cooktop and not actually drawn. More battles, but come on, how could they be better than this one exactly? Let's graduate. This is your turn for one last assignment to get the groove on. Oh snap! We're about to dance. <laughs> DJ Dog. Oh snap! He's an. I didn't know he was a world-renowned turntablist. What is with her in the boob window? And what is with his outfit? No, go to loud of graduation. It's 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 the laws. You're not allowed to. Oh, get out of here! Be banned. Party monster. All right. Oh, it's a cute outfit. Found love in her cooking. Aww. Couples are across the room. Is, does he get a red carpet entrance? Wait, what? Wait, what? What? It's, didn't he plan to- didn't he want to self-destruct? Now that I've graduated, I can reveal my truth? I'm Clank and I'm not of this earth, I'm actually from a faraway planet in another dimension! Agreed. What? Hmm. Okay, anyway, this will time. Now that I've learned the ways of your kind, I must return. Maybe will you come with me? <gasps> Oh no. Oh snap! Oh snap. Humans are weird. Bye, Clank. Ah. You can tell it's Colonel Sanders by the pedals. Whoa, he's casual. Hey, it's the coleslaw. Is it the end, though? Nope, it's not the end. So everyone feasts on the delicious chicken dinner. Colonel Sanders finds you sitting at the edge of the dance floor. Are we about to have to dance? Oh, Colonel Sanders. Was our final exam team up purely an act of strategy carried out by two cunning chefs, or was it something more? Oh, yeah! I have this dosy -si dough. -do. Oh, Ooh, snap! Oh, they reach for me. Of our feet may tire of dancing. I believe this is just the beginning of our steps together. Curtis and his eye. You not only join me in the dance floor, but in the kitchen as my co-chef and partner in both business and in life! Oh! Hey, the dream has changed. My dream has changed. It's not to simply open the world's greatest chain of fried chicken restaurants. No, even then, my life would be incomplete without you by my side. Oh, yes. Yes, I love you, Colonel Sanders. The end.
Oh, it just cut. It just cuts. <laughs> it just cuts. Well, this was an amazing game. 10 out of 10, greatest form of advertising that KFC has ever done, ever. And I bet there's a secret in this game that I haven't found. So if anyone finds the secret, I'll definitely come back to play this game. Thank you for anyone who's watching, and this is definitely gonna be getting posted on YouTube.